take three, the camera cut out again. Let's have a look here at the soap embeds. So these are the soap embeds that I just made and I decorated. They're made out of the melt and pour glycerin soap and I've added some mica powder painted it on to give a little bit more detail to these some of these so little soap embeds um, and I also put some glitter on so we have the lime and the strawberry the apple the pineapple the grapes and I just love the bananas with the little dots on them it looks so realistic and that glitter it just makes it pop doesn't it looks like it's just like sprinkled in fairy sugar or something so this is what will be going on the soaps so um on Facebook, I have a Facebook page for Spadoff. It's called Spadoff Soaps. I was going to possibly add three and make big cubed bars. However, that might be a little bit expensive um, once that's weighed, a bar that, that's lar that is that large. And I actually opted to just put one of these on each bar. That way, I think it would be more affordable for people. So, um, I'm going to be doing another um, loaf of soap. I'm not sure what exactly, what mold I'm going to use or what. I still have to explore that. I was going to get into a big tub that I have of molds and see what I can find. This one I just found the other day. It is a shallow mold. Very shallow. It's like something you would put... Um, cutlery in maybe I don't know it's a bit long for cutlery but maybe maybe it's something that goes in a drawer maybe for some long knives or something and I snatched it up because I just I don't have anything exactly like this I have the big box molds but I don't have anything small like this I have some smaller sample molds which are wooden and they're smaller than this one but nothing like this size so I just thought it'd be a little bit of fun it was 45 cents who can go wrong um, let's move that on to the side now and let's get started with the first part of the process of making whipped soap. So um, for the most part what I've been doing, all my soaps that I showed you on the table I've been making with aloe butter or I've made it with um, uh, aloe butter, what's the other kind of butter, aloe? Coconut? No. Shea? No. <laughs> oh she's learning her butters. There's aloe butter and what else? Avocado butter. Yes, I couldn't think of it. So it was avocado butter. What I have here is my favorite, and I haven't been using any of this butter, which is the glorious gold of cocoa butter. Um, I haven't been using any of it because it's so precious and it smells so good. I was trying to save it for bath truffles where you can really smell that gorgeous chocolatey scent. However, if I'm making some whipped soap, I'm going to need to use some butter just to make up the 80% of the hard oils that I'm going to need. So, um, I'm so happy to be pulling out that cocoa butter. It smells awesome and I can smell it from here. It just smells... Mm. Can I smell? Oh, yes, you can smell. By the way, is this a YouTube video? It is. Oh, yeah. So, um... And don't forget to say your like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on it. Um, Instagram? Not in, I, I don't say, have Instagram. I was going to say Instagram, <laughs> but uh, Facebook. All right, At so the first thing that we have to do when we're making our whip soap is we've got to put our hard oils, which is our cocoa butter... Oops, I better get some of that out. Get every bit, you know me, obsessive about getting all those luxurious oils out. Cannot waste specialty oils and butters. Not a chance in my shop. Alrighty. So, in this soap, I'm doing a 10% super fat. 10%, which, which is a lot. Um, however, usually what I do when I'm weighing out my oils is I always weigh a little bit extra because the oils get stuck on the sides. And I think that makes a difference in the weight. And I like to be exact. I don't want to have any chances of any leftover lye that's not saponified going in my soap or turning out in my soap. 
So this is a huge container, which didn't need to be this big, but oh well. I'm going to scoop out now some coconut oil. This is the coconut. At least I think it is. Let me do a double check here. I think it's coconut oil. Okay, so that's the lard. I'm not sure. Is that coconut oil or is that... I don't know. Oop. I hope so. Let me have a look up in my cupboard to see if it's the same color or not. Yeah, I think it is. It is a little bit yellow. I hope so anyway. <laughs> Whoops, it's not. That's okay. We'll live. Might not turn out exactly, but... So here we go. I think it is the coconut oil because there's a lot of it. With my soft oils, I only have a little bit, which are already mixed together. This is the best spatula. Some spatulas don't get it out as good. I like the real flexi spatulas for getting oils out of the containers. Mmm, looks so good. <laughs> Look at that. Look good. It smells good. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful oils. Now, you heard about in the past why, or did you, I think I've said so on a video before, why I don't do my oils um, usually in my videos, well, it's because with every oil that I do, I'm so obsessive over not wasting oils that I lather up everywhere on me <laughs> with all the leftover oils. So I'm doing my knees, um, my elbows, wherever I can get that oil. And I end up with just so much oil on myself, it's not funny. Like, it's really sad. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, look how obsessive I am. Very obsessive. Like I'll even like, you know, start doing this. I don't know if other soapers do this. I'm sure they do. I don't know how many of us are that obsessive, but oh well. Takes one to know one. There we go. I'll leave it at that. Now, I'm going to put in, this is the shortening. So shortening has palm oil in it and some other oils in there too. I don't know if it's cottonseed oil or, or what's in there, but it's going in my soap. So, I don't want to just like plop that in there because the oil will go everywhere. See? Isn't this fun to watch? So what I'll do is I'll melt, melt this at 10, no sorry, probably 30 second interval, intervals just to melt this. And the reason why we're doing that is A, because we want all the um, palm oil to mix. Because what happens with palm oil is that if you just put it in as is, um, there's things in the oil, some constituents, I can't remember what, I can't remember that settle to the bottom and you really need to mix it all up and get it mixed through. So that's why we do that. That's one of the reasons anyway. Um, the second reason is because I think when you melt it, I'm not sure if this is true or not, um, someone said that it would have an exfoliant if I don't do that now. I don't know if that's true or not, but 